So today I'll be showing you how to transfer your Apple Watch from one iPhone to another. Now here I have an older iPhone 15 Pro and on this side I have the newer 16 Pro. So the Apple Watch cannot can only connect to one iPhone at a time. So the only way to transfer from one to another is to do a factory reset. Now of course your Apple Watch is automatically backed up to the Apple ID on your old iPhone. As long as they were paired, it's going to get backed up. So you, you're going to factory reset the watch and then pair it to the new watch and then restore from backup. Okay. So to do that, go to the main menu on your Apple Watch and then go to settings. Under settings, scroll down and tap on general. And then under general, scroll down until you get to reset. Tap on that and then tap on reset all content and settings if you have a passcode it's going to ask for it so enter that passcode and then it's going to say all media and data will be erased go ahead and scroll down and tap on erase all and that's going to factory reset the watch so you might be required to verify your apple id in the process so you can just go to settings and enter your apple id password and you can conveniently do that right from the phone. Once you do that, that should complete the factory reset. So once the reset is complete, you can now keep your old phone away. And now let's do a setup with the iPhone, with a new iPhone, basically. So let's go ahead and launch the Apple Watch application. In case you're not prompted like this, you can just launch it. But if you're prompted, just go ahead and tap on continue and let's start the setup process. So choose setup for myself. And then you should see this that you need to scan with your phone. So just hold your phone over the watch to scan that. There you go. You can tell it's paired because it's going to say Apple Watch is paired. And now let's continue the setup process. So it says make this your new Apple Watch. And as you can see, it says here's everything set up as you had it on your other Apple Watch. So let's tap on continue. Of course, you have the terms and conditions which you have to read and agree. And then it says Apple Watch locked to owner. So all you have to do basically is put in your Apple ID. And once you put in your Apple ID and password, just tap on next. And then you have the normal uh, setup process. Share with Apple, don't share. You have your Apple Watch passcode if you want to. Now, since I want to, I'm just going to create a passcode. And then I'll put in the passcode I want to use. And then you have the personalized fitness and health. You have your date of birth, sex, just like it was on the previous Apple Watch. So just tap on continue. You have your safety preferences. Tap on continue. And now it should sign you into your Apple account or your Apple ID. In case you asked for your Apple ID password, once again, you can provide it. So now as you can see, Apple Watch is syncing, which is which basically means it's downloading my backup from iCloud and restoring it to the Apple Watch so that I can pick up from where I left with my older iPhone. So just be patient and wait for the sync process to finish up. Once it's done, you can just tap on done. And as you can see, we are back from exactly where we were. Same uh, watch face, same settings, same preferences. Everything is back to exactly the way it was on my new iPhone. So that is basically how to transfer your Apple Watch from your older iPhone to your new iPhone. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, Feel free to leave them down in the comment section. 
If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and even subscribe for more tips. And I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.